Hello, I'm your host, Jonathan Miller, and today I'm joined by Cigar Govel, CEO of Chemtrex Inc., ticker symbol CETX on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Cigar, thank you so much for joining us here today. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. How's everything going so far? It's been great. It's a wonderful conference and really excited about all the conversations we're having here. Excellent. So um, Chemtrex is a technology company that operates in the United States and internationally. Uh, and the company is focused on advanced technologies for the industrial services segments. Would you like to elaborate a little bit more about that? Yeah, so uh, Semtrix operates in uh, two different areas. We have two different brands. Um, Semtrix has grown through uh, owning and operating different businesses over the years from manufacturing to technology. So today we have two companies in our portfolio. One is a security technology company called Vicon, uh, and the other is an industrial services company called Advanced Industrial Services. Uh, and both uh, both businesses, we have uh, really exciting things happening. Fantastic. And yeah. what's your background? How did you get involved with the company? Uh, so I've been with the company for uh, over 15 years. And, uh, you know, it's a family started business. And uh, we've grown it over the years through acquisitions and M&A, um, acquiring companies where we saw unique opportunities to grow the business in different uh, markets. So uh, and over the years, we've kind of reshaped the, the portfolio to where it is today, where we have these two brands in, in the portfolio. And, and so we're we're really focused on uh, driving uh, growth in both of those. Excellent. Why don't you elaborate a little bit more about the M and A strategy? Sure. So, uh, you know, really with respect to uh, Vicon, uh, you know, we're now focused on these two businesses, and I think, uh, you know, with respect to our security business, we have uh, an enormous opportunity in front of us. You know, security is more important than ever today, and uh, you know, with uh, the you know shootings that are taking place in this country. Uh, there, there's just no shortage of uh, the need for security. And so uh, leveraging AI, leveraging cloud is uh, a big part of our strategy as uh, the industry is looking to t adopt these types of technologies to make security uh, solutions more effective and make our schools safer, make our borders safer, and make our community safer. And that's really ultimately what we do. So, uh, so we're really excited about uh, the opportunity with respect to security. On the industrial side of our business, you know, in this country, we're also really focused on uh, uh, investing in our infrastructure as well as investing in manufacturing back in the United States. So both of those two drivers are really what's driving growth for us uh, in the industrial segment of our business. And so we have a lot of really good tailwinds that are helping propel our growth. And you can see that by our most recent quarter, actually, where we really demonstrated a, a strong performance. Uh, and I think that speaks to the overall environment that we're uh, operating in and the execution of our business. Well, that's fantastic. And uh, in addition to your earnings, what would you say are your key performance indicators? How do you measure your successes? Well, really, it's uh, it, it does come back to the numbers for us. So, uh, you know, we grew uh, our sales year over year from uh, in, the, in the March quarter from 11 million to 16 million. So almost 40 percent growth. Uh, and that's really how we hold ourselves accountable. Um, not only that, we grew our gross margin from 32% to 46%. So again, a massive improvement there driven by price increases and continuing to get our uh, costs under control. Um, and ultimately, that led to an operating profit of 400000 for us for the period compared to a $2.6 million operating loss for the prior period. So all of those results collectively really uh, have, have uh, been uh, you know, what we look at in terms of how we drive growth. Uh, and I think what investors and prospective investors should look at as we continue to execute and drive uh, uh, the business forward. I couldn't agree more. Could you tell us a little bit more about that capital allocation strategy? Yeah. So uh, ultimately, you know, we're very much focused on delivering value for uh, for our shareholders within these two businesses. And so, uh, with respect to Vicon, you know, what's interesting in the in the industry, uh, you know, we see. Uh, an exciting disruption happened due to cloud technologies, due to AI te technologies, and that's going to uh, ultimately contribute to a shift from perpetual software licenses to recurring revenue licenses. And really, we see an opportunity to improve our business model by changing our business from perpetual software to uh, recurring revenue. And I think that's going to be a big part of the story going forward and ultimately a big part of how we grow our value going forward. Um, and similarly, on the industrial side, we see an opportunity to do a roll up. So when you talk about, you know, how we can deploy capital effectively, well, we think there's an opportunity to uh, scale our business by making smart acquisitions at attractive valuations that are creative to earnings. And we think that, that we can really create a competitive industry player by doing a roll up in this industrial services segment that we operate in today. All right. Sounds great. Uh, now, as far as scaling, what's on the horizon in the next three to five years? So, 
uh, you know, with respect to our security business, you know, we're very much focused on uh, continuing to, to develop our AI roadmap. So we're very committed to that in terms of delivering value to our clients and leveraging AI as a tool to enable that to drive ultimately better outcomes for schools or hospitals and for all of our different customers. Uh, and so I think in terms of, uh, you know, what uh, to look out for, it's going to be continuing to execute on our roadmap with respect to our software portfolio, our AI roadmap. Um, and uh, ultimately, on the industrial side, I think it's continuing to execute our, our acquisition and M&A strategy as we continue to scale and achieve growth um, over the next several uh, quarters and years. So really what we're looking to do is uh, grow on both fronts, and that's really what we expect uh, moving forward. Terrific. And where can investors find out more about the company? And uh, is there any leaving uh, uh, thoughts you'd like to, to exit with? Yeah, so uh, you can find out more about the company at uh, semtrex.com. That's C-E-M-T-R-E-X.com. And our symbol is C-E-T-X, and we're listed on the NASDAQ. Uh, and really, I think it's an exciting time in the company's history. We've, we've gone through a radical transformation in the last six months, and I think it's a time for investors to familiarize yourself, themselves with our story again. Um, and because we've gone through a lot of changes, and I think uh, you know we're firing on all cylinders right now. That's great. Again, the company is Chemtrex. Cigar, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.